Okay, welcome back. This is Professor Eck again, and in this video, we're going to briefly talk about sentinels. Okay, so let's go ahead and dig in. So, what is a sentinel? You know, a sentinel, if we had to give it a formal definition, would be a value in a list of values that indicates an end of data, right? So, let's say that. Uh, your friend's gonna give you a bunch of numbers, right? And you ask them, okay, well, when are you gonna be finished? And they'll say, I'm gonna be finished when I tell you stop. And you're like, okay, fine. And so then they tell you, you know, then you're gonna write these numbers down maybe, right? So they tell you five, you write that down. Eight, you write that down. Two, you write that down. Three, you write that down. Six, seven, eight, six, seven, five, three, zero, nine, right? You write all those numbers down. And then suddenly they say, stop, right? You don't write down stop. You are done, right? You're done. That they, that's how you know they were finished giving you numbers. It's because they gave you a special value. In this case, it was the word stop. Now for us, you know, we're going to be doing this example using just numbers okay to keep it on the simpler side so rather than the word stop there'd be some special number that would be different than all the others right and so that special number that value whatever it may be there's no way they can be accidentally confused with any of the others right so for example um, if I was going to ask you uh, or if you're gonna write a program that was going to um, find the average of a bunch of test scores, right? So, you know, the user might type into the program, you know, 87, 66, 22, negative one, right? So those first three numbers could be test scores because they're not negative, right? There's no such thing as a negative test score. I mean, you know, you can't do that poorly on a test to where you get a negative score, right? So the negative one is the sentinel value. That's the value that indicates that, you know, we're at the end. So only those first three numbers would be used to, um, you know, find the average, okay? So sentinel value doesn't get included. It's distinct from all the rest of the values that are gonna be entered in, okay? So let me go ahead and just write you a quick little example program uh, for that, right? We'll just We'll go ahead and we'll do the um, averaging up the test scores thing, okay? So what's a sentinel, right? It's a special value that indicates an end of input, okay? And so this value can't be a part of the, um, the regular input, right? We'll call it the regular input, right? So previous example, talking about test scores, right? So um, a sentinel value could not be a number that was, could have been confused for a test score, right? So any negative number would do. Um, heck, even maybe any number above 100, right? Because you can't get over 100% on the test. So, you know, just pick one. So for example, picking negative one to indicate you are done entering test scores and you know the valid test valid not valued valid test scores are zero through 100 right so um, the sentinel take care to make sure the sentinel doesn't get uh, counted as input, right? So you gotta make sure that you set up your loop correctly, or you set up your logic correctly so you don't accidentally include the, the sentinel value in whatever operation you're performing. Okay, so this program is going to um, ask the user for a series of test scores and lets the user determine when they're done entering the test scores. They're gonna do that by entering in that uh, sentinel value, okay? So, <coughs> let's get started with this. <clears throat> All right. 
So, <clears throat> what are we going to need? All right, so we're going to need an accumulator. Right, uh, we're going to need an accumulator for the sum of the scores. Right, for the sum of the scores. And we'll initialize it to zero as accumulators are done. Right. Uh, then I'm going to need to keep a count of how many scores have been entered in total, right? So if I'm going to find an average, then I have to divide the sum of the scores by the total number of scores there are, right? Total uh, scores, right? And we'll initialize that to zero, right? So this is a counter, and that's counting how many test scores we're going to have, okay? And then we're going to specify a sentinel, and I'm going to make it const because that sentinel is not going to change. Right, it's it's the sentinel for the entire run of the program. So again, I could pick anything that can't be mistaken for a test score. So valid test scores are only from zero through a hundred. So anything other than that, um, so I'll just pick negative one. Okay. All right. So here's what's gonna happen. <coughs> first things first. We're gonna we're gonna ask for the first test score. All right. Here's the plan ask for the first test score okay and uh, while the uh, input or the response while the response is not the sentinel then what are we going to do we will add the response to the accumulator okay and then we will increment the total uh, number of scores, right? And then we're going to ask for the next score. Okay, ask for the next score. Okay, and then once the user you know enters in the sentinel value negative one for the next score down here on line twenty eight, go back up to the top of the loop. Well, this is going to be false then because what they entered will not not be the sentinel, okay? So once that loop's finished, we will have a total of all the scores, and then we will also have um, a count of how many scores they gave us, okay? And then once we get past that while loop, then we'll go ahead and compute the average, and then display the average, okay? So that's the plan. So let's 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 implement the plan. Okay, so we're going to ask for that first test score. So we're going to need um, a number here or a variable here right, to store that in. So we'll ask for the test score. Enter the score, and then we'll let the user know um, negative one to quit. All right, because that's your sentinel value. Okay. Uh, then we'll read in the score. Oops. Okay, and now we're going to flesh out our while loop here. So while the score does not equal the sentinel. Okay, what are we going to do? Well, like I was saying, just following the plan. We're going to uh, add the response. To the accumulator so the response is where it's inside a score so what's our accumulator sum of scores so we're going to add that score that they gave us to the accumulator then what do we have to do we have to increment increment a <laughs> increment the total scores um so total scores plus plus right because that's a score they gave us we six we if we got in here they gave us an actual score Okay, <coughs> and then we have to ask for the next score. Uh, so we'll say C out, enter the next score. Negative one, two, quit. Okay, and then we have to get the response. All right, so that is the body of my loop. Now, once we get out of that loop, we have to compute the average, right? So the average is going to be um, the sum of scores 
divided by total scores. But don't forget right now, that's an integer, that's an integer, integer divided by an integer is an integer. So we gotta deal with that. So we'll just do the hacky way. Right? We'll multiply sum of scores times 1.0. So that'll be an int times a float, or an int times a double, which will make a double. Right? And then we'll try to divide by an integer, but a double divided by an integer causes the integer to become a double also, or to be treated like a double temporarily. So then we'll have a double divided by a double, which will be a double, <laughs> which we'll put inside of a double. Um, so we won't lose any decimal places. Okay, and so then we can tell them the average. Average, right? So let's go ahead and test this. Let's uh, plus, plus. Okay. <coughs> Pilot and run it, cool. All right, so enter the score. Okay, so right now if they were to type the Sentinel, right? We're at line 27, line 28 right now. We haven't gotten to the while loop yet. If we were to type um, Sentinel value, we're actually gonna have ourselves a little bit of a problem, okay? Um, because, you know, what is NAN? <laughs> okay. Because the thing is, is that, what's total scores in that case? Total scores is zero. I just tried to divide sum of scores zero by zero can't divide zero by zero, right? So some compilers program could just crash. This one tells you the average is NAND. Well, what does NAND stand for? Not a number, right? So let's go fix that right here. Okay, so if um, total scores is uh, greater than zero, right? Then we'll go ahead and do this, okay? So if there's actually um, you know, some scores that were entered, then we can go ahead and we can do the division. T -t -t Total scores is not zero. Go for it. Okay. Um, and uh, we'll tell them what the average is um, based off of that. Uh, let's see here. We'll just make this seem simple. All right. We'll tell them what the average is. And then. Uh, put that in a in an if statement okay otherwise you know if they did otherwise if the total scores is equal to zero then they didn't enter any of these scores right so then we can tell them um, see how no scores entered okay so that should deal with that let's try let's try again okay all right. <coughs> All right. So now negative one. No scores entered, right? Because because if they um, type negative one on line twenty eight here, well then line thirty one that test expression is false. The while loop gets skipped, right? So now we're down to line forty four here, and total scores never changed, right? And because we never entered the loop, total scores plus plus didn't happen. So if total scores is zero, then this is false, right? And then we kick down and say no scores entered. So we took care of our NAN problem. Okay. Um, so let's go now and try to find the average of some scores. Okay. So how about uh, 85? Um, so that's the first score. The next score is going to be 76. And the next score will be uh, 91. Okay. Now those are good enough for me for this example. I wanted three scores, got them. So let's enter the Sentinel to say that we're done. Okay, and so then we find that the average is uh, 84, right? So um, how do I know that? Okay, well, you know, the first number I entered was 85, right? That was line 28, go to line 31. 85 is not equal to the Sentinel, that's true. So then we enter the body of the while loop, sum of scores, we added the score score to it, which was 85. And then total score is going to come in by one. Then we read the next score, which was ninth, which was a 76 to go to the top. 76 is not negative one. So we add 76 on line 34 to um, the, 
the uh, sum of scores. So that's 85 plus 76, which is what, 161, I think? Yeah, 161. <coughs> then total scores got incremented one more time, so total scores is up to 2. So we get the next number, which is 91. Go to the top of the loop. 91 is not equal to the sentinel, that's true, because 91 is not negative 1. Get into the body of the loop. So we add 91 to what we had before. So, great. Now, this, now I'm going to try to do this in my head. So, uh, let's see here. Um, 6, 7, 12, carry the 1, 10. Right, so that's too much. <laughs> oh, gosh, let me see here. So what did we have? We have uh, 91 plus 76 is one, uh, seven. God, the night pool's killing me here. 16 right here, plus seven. So 167 plus 85 is 220 something, right? And then 220 something divided by three gets us pretty close to 84. Here, we'll use the actual calculator because my brain is just fried. 6 30 in the morning. I haven't slept all night because it's freaking cold. Um, okay, anyway, so 85 plus 76 plus 91. Yeah, 252. Okay, so if we divide that by 3, 84. Right, so in this particular case, didn't even have to worry about the floating point numbers. It just happened to work out uh, in this case. Um, notice the negative 1 didn't get counted in there, right? It came out to 84. Right? And when I added those numbers up, it was 252, it wasn't 251. Okay, so we'll do one more example here and uh, see if we can get some floating point numbers. Uh, 83, 21, 17, and then we're done. There we go. So average test score there is 40.3333, right? Definitely not the best. Okay, so um, that's everything with Sentinels that I wanted to talk about. Uh, hopefully you found that example useful. Um, as always, thanks for watching, and uh, feel free to shoot me an email um, if you're a student of mine, and we'll catch you next time.